guys, this week we're reading Ganesha Sweet Tooth by Sanjay Patel and Emily Haynes. Ganesha is a Hindu god. He's very important, powerful, and a tad chubby. But when he was a kid, he was suspected of having a lot of powers. Elephant's head and a and cruised around on a magical mouse, collecting fruit, rice, sweets, and other gifts from the temples in his neighborhood. Ganesha loved to eat sweets and candy, especially the traditional Indian dessert, ladu. His best friend, Mr. Mouse, could eat only one at a time, which was okay by Ganesha. He didn't want to share all his ladus. Squeak. One day, while Ganesha and Mr. Mouse were looking for sweets, they discovered a new kind of ladoo. The Super Jumbo Jawbreaker Ladoo. Ganesha snapped, snatched up the tiny treat and was about to eat it right there on the spot. Wait, squeaked, squeaked Mr. Mouse. Don't eat it. It's a jawbreaker. It'll break your tusk. But I'm a god, said Ganesha. I'm invincible. Ganesha popped the ladoo in his mouth. He bit down and snapped Squeak, oh no, Mr. Mouse yelled. How will I ever put my tusk back on, Ganesha wailed. Ganesha was very clever and tried all sorts of ideas. What if I tie it with, on with string? What if I stick it on with glue? Maybe I could just hold it on with my hand, but nothing worked. I look lopsided, he said. Everyone will laugh at me. No, they won't, said Mr. Mouse. Everyone loses their teeth. And besides, you already have an elephant's head, and your friends still love you. Ganesha wasn't convinced. He thought he looked awful. He took all his anger and frustration and hurled his tusk at the man. But the tusk didn't hit the man. It sailed over a bush and hit the head of an old man who was walking by. Is this your tusk? The old man asked. I'm sorry, said Ganesha. I didn't mean to hit you. I was aiming for the moon. What's your name? I'm Ganesha, and this is Mr. Mouse. You're Ganesha, the old man exclaimed. I've been looking for you. I'm Vyessa, the poet, and I need a special scribe for a poem. It's so long that no man could ever write the whole thing. All the pens in the world would break before it was done. I'm not a man, said Ganesha, and I love stories, but I don't have anything to write with. What about your tusk, Vyessa asked. That's just a big tooth, Ganesha said. It's a very special tooth, Vyessa explained, holding, handing Ganesh a piece of paper. Give it a try. Ganesha took the paper and pressed down with the tip of his tusk. It made a mark. Ganesh was so excited that he drew a flower and a tree and a picture of Mr. Mouse, along with a few of his other favorite things. I love my tusk, said Ganesh. I'd be happy to help you. What is your story about? The beginning of things, said Vyasa, it's rather hard to sum up. It's called the Mahabharata. Excuse me, said Mr. Mouse, jumping on the end of Ganesha's trunk. I don't mean to interrupt, but what exactly are the terms of this agreement? It is a very long poem after all. Can you tell the whole story in one go, Vyasa? No stopping? As long as Ganesh understands the meaning of everything I say. Can I eat sweets while I write, asked Ganesh. As long as you don't stop writing, said Vyasa. Ganesh and Mr. Mouse agreed. Let's begin. As Vyasa spoke, Ganesh put up his tusk to the paper and began writing. Soon he forgot, forgot about the super jumbo jawbreaker Ladoo and how funny he looked. He even forgot about the sweets he wanted to eat. Long ago, Vyasa said, there lived a very brave king of Hastanapur. Hastanapur. One day when he was out hunting, he happened upon a beautiful woman sitting on the banks of the Ganga ri River. One hundred verses later, Ganesh put down his tusk. The Mahabharata, the great epic of Hindu literature, was complete. Ganesh peeped around a stack of paper and saw that Mr. Mouse had been eating his way through the Ladoos as they worked. The poem had been had taken a very long time. But Ganesh was happy to see there were still a few le left for him and his friends. The end. <laughs>